Hello everyone, how is it going? We're back, we're back with some ETBs. Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Boxes are here. So as you can see, these are the two Pokemon Sender exclusive ones. We'll get these open. We actually have two each of these. We're going to be opening up today as well as one each of the retail versions uh, because of how they changed the promos. Me and Laura actually get one each of the Pokemon Center ones. Normally we just get one each of the retail and then one total of the Pokemon Center ones. But anyway, let's start getting into these while I'm talking. And then we'll look at the regular ones too. I actually don't think there's anything in the regular ones that's any different from Pokemon Center ones. I think they there's just less stuff in them, but I will open and confirm. So, starting off with the player's guide as always, showing us all of the nice cool stuff we can be pulling from the set. Lots of very, very nice stuff we already pulled from the set actually. If you've seen my previous videos, sleeve with the pack art in. So we're actually up to uh, 11 packs for the Pokemon Center ETBs. Previously, it was uh, 8 in the regular ones and 10 in the Pokemon Center ones. It's now up to 9 in the regulars and 11 in the Pokemon Centers. We have our dice damage counters. And then this is a set of Poison and Burn Markers. Those actually look really, really nice. I really like those. Those are very cool. Uh, we have our Dividers. A Brick of Energy. Uh, sleeves code card which i'm not showing you there we have our sleeves and then of course we have our two promos so we have oh well we'll look at the promos in a bit more detail in a moment once i've got the rest of the stuff out of the box you know we're gonna want to take a nice zoomed in look at all of the promos so we'll do all of that together all right the violet one player's guide i believe is gonna be exactly the same just with a different cover Got 11 more packs. Uh, the dice, the randomizer dice is different between the Scarlet and Violet versions. Same Poison of Burn. Uh, dividers have Maridon instead of Coridon. Code again, and then we have our other two promos, which we'll look at again in a moment. And there are the sleeves from this one. All right, I'm going to open up the non-Pokemon Center ones now and see if there's anything different. All right, I did open up those retail ones to confirm, and there's nothing in the retail ones that is not in the Pokemon Center ones. Sleeves all appear to be exactly the same. The dice, the poison burn markers, everything like that. The only difference is uh, there is one fewer promo and two fewer packs within the retail one. So if you're just wanting one of everything, you only need to pick up the Pokemon Center ones. You don't need to also pick up the retail ones for something slightly different. But anyway, here's the promo. So first of all, we have from the Violet box with Maridon. This is Black Star promo number 13. So yeah, this is the regular one. This one comes in both the Pokemon Center box and the retail box. And then we have the version here with the Pokemon Center logo on. Uh, still also numbered 13, just a variant there. Uh, this one, of course, only comes in the Pokemon Center box. Does not come in the retail version. And then the same with Coridon, which is Black Star Promo 14. These two are gorgeous arts, by the way. I should say, absolutely love these two arts. They're great promos for putting into the first ETBs of the of the generation and of the series. And so we have Coridon. And then there we have the Pokemon Center version of Coridon. That's four new Black Star Promos across two new numbers from the ETBs. And now we have 62 packs. So uh, let's get into those. Now, if you've already been watching my videos since Scarlet and Violet came out, or from before it came out, you'll know we have had some pretty good luck with this set. We've already hit a ton of good stuff. So, first pack. Rustonjana, Rusmoliv, and Full Art, or Ultra Rare, Coridon EX. Absolutely fantastic. Great way to start these off. So, during our previous videos, we had hit the Miriam, which was the, the big card. Uh, we only hit one copy of that, so Laura's got that one. I don't have that one yet. The second most expensive or second chase card in the set is the Alt Art uh, Maridon. Uh, I apparently kept saying Coridon in previous videos, but it's Maridon, which we didn't hit any of. So one of those would be nice to at least get Laura's copy of that. Reverse Switch. Reverse Toad Scroll. And a regular Maridon EX. We'll take it. So the only Alt Art or the special art that we were missing was that Maridon and then... I think it was Great Tusk. It was either Great Tusk or Iron, whatever it's called. One of the two we got, one that we didn't, or which off the top of my head. And uh, Maridon is also the only gold that we haven't got any of yet. Reverse Lucario, Reverse Quaquavel, and Indeedy. There's still a, a decent handful of illustration rares and the 
Ultra Full Arts that we haven't seen yet. But in general, those are nowhere near as expensive or anything as the Special Arts or anything like that. Reverse Monkey, Reverse Toxtricity. Hey, and a Garrett OCX. Wow. We are running good. This is one of the two Terra EXs from the set, so it has a different holofoil pattern to the regular ones. I'm going to open up the... I've kept all the packs kind of separate, so I'll be opening up the Pokemon Center ETB ones first. Not that it really matters, you know, it's all just random packs, but that's how I've got them laid out. All right, we've got in this one. Reverse Pokegear 3.0, an illustration red Don Dozo. This was one of the ones we hadn't seen yet. Fantastic. And a King Gambit. We honestly might be at the point where Laura's set ends up being basically done within, you know, one week of the actual release. Because she is also going to be getting uh, multiple boxes, I think, this weekend. She's uh, working in Fort Wayne, so she be she should be coming back with a lot more Scarlet Violet. Reverse King Gambit, Reverse Quack Quowl, and a Slowbro. So, you know, it may actually get to the point where, for some products in the future, if we can both finish Scarlet and Violet really quickly, we just aren't opening packs when they come in. Uh, box sets and stuff. Rust on Jona, Rust Toxtricity, and a Meowskarada. Also, I said during one of my previous videos, one of the, I think when I was opening a lot of packs, I predicted that the top cards from the set, like the, the Miriam, would come plummeting down in price on release, and I was definitely correct on that one. Rust Pokey Gear, uh, oh, Reverse Switch, and a Houndstone. Since Miriam was like the one big chase card in the set, it initially started out as prices like over 200, I think. And it was priced as though it was about similar in price to, you know, Lugia from Silver Tempest and Giratina from Lost Origins, which were the big chase cards of their sets. But it didn't take into account the pull rates in this set are so, so much better than those sets. So Miriam has already dropped to around $80, I think. Reverse Arvin. Hey, we got another illustration of our Toad School. Very nice. Ooh, and another Ultra Rare Full Art Iron Treads EX. Amazing. So it really also feels like, you know, even if uh, we don't get fully done, there's not, like, a huge chase to keep trying to open to get my set done or whatever. Because, you know, like, with stuff like Evolving Skies, there's, like, a six $700 card in there you don't really want to buy. So if some loose packs come around, you still keep opening them. But maybe that's not the case with this. Anyway, reverse Metacham, reverse Weasel, and a Halucha. But hey, we'll, we'll judge it. We may end up actually just buying the singles to finish the set, depending on how close we get to finishing both of our sets. Uh, we'll see. We'll make that judgment call after we've opened everything and sorted everything. Reverse Sotoddle, reverse Staraptor, and Fresh's Research. So up to that, that was just one ETB. So that was two Illustration Rares, two Ultra Rare Full Arts, and two Double Rare EX cards from one Pokemon Center ETB, which is pretty amazing. Next up, Reverse Picnic Basket. Start strong with Character Areolu. I think that's another one that Laura didn't have. So she didn't have the Dondozo. I think she did already have the Toad School, but did not have the Riolu. Amazing. Her set is, <laughs> is nearly there. Just keep it up with these uh, good hits. Also looking at, I mean, just TCG player prices right now, with, again, the set only having been out officially for... Uh, well, a weekend for most stores and just under a week for stores that run pre-releases. There are only three cards still ab at or above the $50 mark in the set. Got a Reverse Katie, Reverse Zangoose, and a Professor's Research. And you know, those three cards were the, the Miriam, uh, the Maridon EX, and then the Gardevoir EX. I think the Gardevoir EX was sitting right around the 50 mark, so... Yeah, I'm excited to be actually finishing sets for the first time in, like, six years. Reverse Meditite, Taurus Sandile, and a Houndstone. What do we got? We have Reverse Magikarp, Reverse Clonjure. Hey, and a Magma Zone EX. Very, very nice. Next pack. What do we got? It's Reverse Grimer, Reverse Dash Bun, and a Cyclizer. I said this in a previous video, but it'd be really nice if we are at a point where, you know, we're able to be finishing the sets with the amount we buy very, very close to set release, because it then means we can be going back and, you know, if we get extra boxes and stuff from judging events, trying to trade them for stuff from older sets, finish those out. Reverse Slowpoke, Reverse Nemona, and Reverse Research. 
because you know the uh, the Sun and Moon and the Sword and Shield era both have some pretty significant gaps for both of us, and it would be nice to just not have to worry about that anymore. We have Russ Crockerock, Russ Nestball, A, and another Gyarados EX. Very nice. We'll take that. Next one. We have Reverse Pomo, Reverse Halucha. Ooh, Ultra Rare, Full Art Katie. I think this was one that Laura still needed also. So Laura set is just getting finished out. Still need to see that Maraid on Alt Art, but very, very nice. But still, plenty of accent, plenty of time to do that. And then I can start worrying about my set. Obviously, I would definitely not hate getting another Miriam or another... God of War in these packs, just to take for myself. Reverse Hypno, Reverse Kalefki, and a Coridon. I think the golds as well, I think. I'm only at uh, one out of the six. I have the fighting energy. Because Laura got one in her pre-release that we actually played in before packs. Reverse Bishop. Ooh, Armor Rouge Illustration Rare. I think that one's going to be mine. And a Skeletage. And next one. What do we got? Reverse Tatsugiri, Reverse Shabbat, and Annihilate. So that was another ETB done, another Pokemon Center ETB. That one had five hits, so we've actually had 11 hits out of 22 packs so far. Like, this set is just nuts. It's so good. Reverse Energy Switch, Reverse Ponyard, and a King Gambit. You know, we're, we've worked out, I think, with averages and stuff on... Uh, Previous sets, or not previous sets, previous openings, that it was about one, a little over one in four packs had a hit, so we're running a bit above average right now, which is always great. Rust Drift Blim, Rust Primate, and a Coridon. I say that, and uh, maybe this is the <laughs> the one that brings us down. It comes in below average. What do we got in this one, though? Oops. Rust Spupa, Rust Vavroom, and a Slowbro. Next up. We've got, oh, it looks like there's something good coming already. Reverse Starly and Alt Art Jacques. I think that's actually our third one of those. So that one is uh, some nice trade fodder now, but we will definitely take extra special illustrations. And we have a Houndstone. Obviously, he is uh, nowhere near as valuable as that nice Miriam, which I think is a lot more playable. Anyway, what do we got? We have got... Reverse Pavilion, Reverse Electric Generator, and a Quarkwabble. And then... It is Reverse Silly Cobra, Reverse Toad School, and a Claw Fay. First Claw of the video. I really need to do, redo my nails. Look at that. That is shocking. Anyway. It's been like three days or something as well. Next pack we have... Reverse Grievard, Reverse Mareep, and a regular God of War X. We'll take that. And next up. We have Reverse Krogunk, Reverse Dolive, and a Maridon. Alright, we need Maridon EX in the special art, please. That's the number one thing we want. Even though I'm missing Miriam, Maridon is still what I want, so we can get Laura her set finished, so that she is more excited about Pokemon again. Reverse Flittle, Reverse Mareep. Ooh, and a Great Tusk EX Ultra Rare Full Art. We will definitely take that one. And next pack. What do we got this time? It's Reverse King Gambit, Reverse Pokeball, and a Meowskarada. Alright, final pack of this ETB. We are only at three hits from this one ETB, so unless this one is a double hit pack, it's slightly below what we uh, got before. But it's... Oh, it is something good. So it's Rust on Journey. Illustration Rare. I was about to say character rare. Illustration Rare Starly. I think another one that Laura did not have yet. Gorgeous. And it's like Lizar. So four hits out of that ETB. Still, still very, very nice odds. 
All right, this next lot of packs are from the last Pokemon Center ETB, and then after that we have even more packs from uh, the two store-bought ETBs. So what do we got this time? It's Rus Pormot, Rus Scatterbug, and Annihilate. And then, coming up next, oops, it is Reverse Energy Switch, Reverse Scovillain, a and a full art, ultra rare, Spidops EX. Very, very nice card. Certainly not as cool looking as the alt art of Spidops EX, but we have three of the alt arts and one of that one, so I'm happy we pulled another one of that one. A reverse Drift Blim, a reverse Floet, and an Arbolida. Also, I need a haircut. <laughs> Looking at myself in the webcam. We have Reverse Spupa, Reverse Bruxish, and an Armor Rouge. Next one. We've got Reverse Vervillain, Reverse Primeape, and a River Broom. Next pack. It is. Reverse Sitoddle. Ooh, Grievard Illustration Rare. We may have only pulled one of those so far, so I think this one might be mine. Very, very happy about that. Very nice card. And a Klefki. So many gorgeous cards. So I think uh, Gold is now oh, Hyper Rare. Hyper Rare Gold cards. It's the only rarity level we haven't seen anything of so far in this video. So maybe one of those two would be nice. Reverse Silly Cobra. Reverse Houndoom. And a Dondozo. But, you know, if it's the choice between that or that alt art Coridon or another alt art Miriam, definitely going to take the alt art. Come on, pack. There we go. I love this Growlithe. Every time I see this Growlithe, it's such nice artwork. Who did the art on this one? Tika Matsuno is the name of the artist. Very, very nice Growlithe. Brila is Ralts, too. Oh, same artist as well. Wow. They have smashed it for the set. Two of my favorite pieces of art. Rust Potion, Rust Growlithe, and a on. Next up, what do we got in this one? Reverse Penny, Reverse Beach Court, and Full Art Iron Treads EX. We will take another Full Art. Very, very nice. These videos for the Scott and Violet stuff just end up being so much longer because of like the recap bit at the end where I'm showing off all the polls is so much longer because they're just so. So many good hits. We have Reverse Trobius, Reverse Ch Chocodet, and Irregular Iron Treads EX. Very nice. And next pack, what do we got? Well, this is the last one of the final Pokemon Center ETB. And then there'll be another 18 packs of the two store-bought ones. So we have Reverse Pomot, Reverse Skiddo, and N Indeedy. Okay, first retail ETB. Let's see if we still keep getting good pulls, which I'm sure we will. We have got Reverse Vitality Band, Reverse Electric Generator, and a Slowbro. The next one. We have got Reverse Mousehold. Ooh, another one that Laura didn't have, I think. Another illustration rare that Laura needed. The illustration rare Squavit. Amazing card. And an Armor Rouge. Found out as well, I might need to be going on a bit of a LeChonk quest in the next couple of days. So obviously we've got the LeChonk promos that came with this. I was going to show off the Pokemon Center LeChonk, but then I found out there is a GameStop LeChonk and a Best Buy LeChonk. The Best Buy one has the Scarlet Buy logo on it. It doesn't say Best Buy on it. Um, but I may have to go on a little bit of a quest to get those and then show those all off together in a later video. Reverse Wattrel, Reverse Survivor, and a Skilladurge. So, we'll see. Look out for those. Hopefully I can actually go to the stores and get them and don't have to resort to tracking them down online. Reverse Slowbro, Reverse Dedenne, and Annihilate. Next one. What do we got this time? Reverse Cyclizar, Reverse Scatterbug, and a Klefki. Next pack.
This time we've got Reverse Fortress, Reverse Scobillon, hey, and a Cur Ride on EX. We'll take another regular EX. Next pack. We have got Reverse Growlithe, Reverse Floet, and an Arbeliever. And then, what if it, hopefully, wait, at least one more big hit before the end of the video. Like something, something crazy big. That would be nice. Uh, reverse Clawtzav, Reverse Bruxish, and an Armour Rouge. Alright, this is the last pack of the first Storeboard ETB. So there are ten more packs total, including this one. What do we have? It is Reverse Caps Kid, Reverse Prime Ape, and Professor's Research. All right, let's go. Final ETB worth of packs. And then we have our recap session of all of the good stuff, and there has been a lot of it. Oh, and there's something more common. Reverse Cyclizar. Illustration Rest. Slowpoke. Very, very cute card. We'll take that. And a Halucha. Uh, next one. What do we got? Reverse Smoliv, Reverse Ralts, and another Coridon EX. Next up. Just a few more packs to go. Still time some big hits, though. Reverse Houndua, Reverse Houndstone, and Arbeliver. I keep waiting for, you know, something just snap and find a reason to hate this set, but it's just not happening. Reverse Coridon, Reverse Ponyard, and a Cyclizar. I am sort of still feeling tentative about future sets as to whether they're just going to keep ramping and ramping and ramping the amount of stuff in them until they become impossible to collect again. We've got Reverse Rocky Helmet, Reverse Espathra, and a Quarkwavel. You know, it feels like when, uh, you know, early Diamond and Pearl era, there was like three or four, well, three, two, and then occasionally four, um, level X's, and then they went up to like six, and then I think there was like twelve in one of the platinum sets or something. Reverse Toad School, Reverse Wiglet, and a Polot. I mean, obviously, this set already has like 50 or so, but I mean, they could just really ramp up the numbers of uh, special illustrations or drop the pull rates or something, but hopefully, they don't. Hopefully, they actually make collecting a nice experience again. Reverse Starly. Alt Art Penny, Special Illustration Rare Penny. This is the third penny as well that we have. So we now have a three penny, three Jaco one, Arvin, and one Miriam. So not exactly the ratio we would have liked, but we'll we'll definitely take that. And a slow bro. Second to last pack of the video. What do we have? Reverse Floggers, Reverse Cloth, and Annihilate. All right, final pack. Final pack. What do we got? Reverse Heracross, Reverse Fido, and another Annihilate. All right, let's go over those hits again. All right, we've got a grand total of 24 hits out of the 62 packs, so uh, right around the third mark. And we got, starting off with regular EXs, we've got two Gyarados, a Magnazone, Miraidon, God of War, two Coridon, Iron Treads, then we have Illustration Rares, a Toad School, Armor Rouge, Slowpoke, Dondozo, Grivard, Riolu, Starly, and Squabbit, Full Arts, the uh, Ultras, Spidops, Great Tusk, Coridon, two Iron Treads, Katie, and Special Illustrations, we have Jacques. And we have Penny. Not too bad overall. Plus, of course, we got those gorgeous Crydon and Maridon promos in both regular and Pokemon Center forms. Cannot be unhappy with any of that. So that's going to be it from me for today. Probably as you're watching this, I'm out somewhere dragging around between GameStops and Best Buys trying to find LeChunks. Uh, in which case, there will be another video up very soon on that. Uh, but for right now, I need to go sort some of these cards and figure out what we're actually still missing. So if you did enjoy, you know, subscribe to the channel, follow for more stuff, watch some more videos again in future. I'll see you soon.
I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who chooses to support me on Patreon. If you'd like to get involved, help support the channel, and see some behind the scenes content, click on the link in the description. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>